Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Defub21 and today, as always, we have a new video game trailer. Today we have, uh, excitement of excitement, a trailer for Destiny 2, specifically the trailer is called Rally the Troops, worldwide uh, reveal trailer. It's the first full-blown proper trailer for uh, Destiny 2. And uh, without uh, further ado, uh, let's take a look and uh, then I'll let you know, as usual, what I think. Times may be dark, but we are Earth's greatest hope. Look around you. A gathering of noble guardians new and old. Okay, listen up. Um, you're a bunch of dirty misfits, but you're all that's left, so you'll have to do. Our home was attacked. I was there and fought against the endless onslaught. They kept coming, so I kept firing. Not gonna lie, I was magnificent. Despite the sacrifice of many brave guardians, we lost everything. The tower, the city, our home. So, everything is gone. Your stuff, my stuff, most importantly, my stuff. Today we know our enemy. His name is Gary! Or Gil. Glenn? Is it? I don't know. It's something with a G! Go! I know you look to me in times of peril, but this is not my battle alone. Which means if I don't see you out there, I'll kill you myself. It is time to avenge this injustice, for that is the duty of all guardians. Worst case scenario, you die. But who knows? Maybe you won't. So I ask you, who will stand with me? Yeah! Oh, really, guys? That, that was inspiring. Also, there will be a ton of loot! Yeah! Ah, yeah, right? That's what I thought. Pre-order and get beta early access. Well, what do you think and say about this? Again, it's a completely all CGI trailer, um, like the previous teaser. Um, no gameplay shown, uh, gives a bit of information on the story. Again, I'm not particularly up to date on the kind of Destiny story because I never played it. And there have been, you know, a number of expansion packs that have kind of pushed the forward sto the story forward. Um, but it looks like things went wrong at the end of the, or at some point during the last game. Um, in terms of kind of the, the tone, um, Nathan Fillion, who vo voices the kind of comedy guy in in this sequence, the kind of funny type dude, and he's also playing voicing the same character in the teaser, the prior video. Um, again, very uh, funny, very charismatic actor. Um, and it kind of, you know, in that respect, that kind of side of it works. The problem is, is that if you want to have kind of funny Nathan, Nathan Fillion on one side and then a much more serious dude on the other, that kind of serious dude has to come off really well. The tone of the, that part of the trailer has to be very, you know, it has to get the, the, you know, across the fact that things are actually very serious and that they're kind of juxtaposed. And it doesn't really work. Um, it's not dark enough. The tone isn't kind of serious enough uh, on the kind of serious part, quote unquote, parts of the trailer. So it kind of comes off. It doesn't, to my mind, doesn't quite work um, the way it's intended to. Obviously, in other words, yes, it's very serious, but we've also got kind of levity with Nathan Fillion and his and his comedy stylings, as it were. But um, again, no gameplay. So, you know, it's still it, both the previous teaser and this trailer stick out much more in my mind than any trailer I saw for the previous game. If there's anything the previous game lacked, to my mind anyway, it was kind of personality. I mean, the biggest thing I know about the previous game really was that whole Peter Dinklage, it must have come from the moon uh, video you see on YouTube all the time before they removed it. I think, although I think they might have recently re-added it. Anyway, this is coming out, it seems, September 8th. Um, it's coming out not just on consoles this time, but on PC. And crucially, as I mentioned in the previous video I did on the, the teaser, this is the first true 
uh, current gen Destiny title. The previous Destiny game was designed for PS3, 360, as well as Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And fundamentally, when you're designing a game, effectively for, you design it for the lowest common denominator, which is a 360 and the PlayStation 3, and that can hold back level design, gameplay design, you name it. Um, on uh, current gen hardware because current gen hardware is so much more powerful um, and basically you, there were some you know good cross generation games and the first Destiny game because it's been continually updated with premium you know content expansion packs and so on is probably the last cross gen game still to be supported still being in development still having stuff released for it at least on the current generation hardware but in terms of um in terms of again the series this is a for true uh current gen uh title so no 360 no ps3 support so the, the hardware limitations of those two systems won't be holding the system the game back in terms of level design ai you know multiplayer design whatever you know any for every aspect of it will be much 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 less constrained than on uh than the previous than the current uh, version of destiny so in that respect you know it should bode well for it and again it's coming out on pc and uh, which also bodes well because that certainly for me that's my current it has been for the bulk of this generation my primary gaming platform so uh, i'm much much more likely to buy this than i was the uh, previous game although if the previous previous game in kind of a a collector's edition turns up um uh, at a reasonable price or even a cheap price uh, at retail or on amazon or something i might buy it or especially yes if uh bungie and i think it's activision is publishing this correct me if i'm wrong in the comments if they want uh, to really drive interest they might oh i don't know make it available with games with gold and uh the uh, playstation now as well for free for like a month or two before the game actually destiny 2 comes out to get people playing the first game who didn't uh who didn't play it that might be that would be i thought that's something that's, that's something i would do anyway but anyway uh let me know your thoughts in the comments let me know your hopes your fears your expectations for this game in the comments if you like this video please like it and if you for some strange reason have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so this is uh defub 21 uh, certainly more interested in this than i was in the previous game signing off toodaloo